September 11, 2001. Hours after the Twin Towers in Manhattan come down, Seven World Trade Center collapses into its own footprint. Unlike the towers, it was not struck by an airliner. How could this possibly happen without the building being intentionally demolished, as some believe must have been the case? Building 7 collapsed simply due to uncontrolled fires. The World Trade Center buildings were supported by a frame of steel columns. Steel loses half of its strength when heated to just 1,200 degrees Fahrenheit. This weighted beam collapsed completely at around 2,000 degrees. Steel also expands when heated. In an uncontrolled fire, critical connections between beams can break and put the entire structure at risk. This is what happened to Building 7. The collapse of the North Tower, only 120 yards away, ejected burning debris, some of which ignited office contents in Building 7. The collapse also damaged the water main feeding Building 7's automatic sprinkler system, and most firefighting resources were diverted elsewhere on that day. Fires moved through the building, burning uncontrolled for nearly seven hours. At one point, firefighters measured a bulge forming in the southwest corner and determined that Building 7 was likely to collapse as well. The agency that investigated Building 7 believes that the critical failure began inside, the collapse progressing across the interior as well as vertically. It was only after the core of the building was gone that the rigid unsupported outer walls came down. This is consistent with a video taken by CBS News. Penthouse structures can be seen collapsing from left to right as the interior caves in underneath. The first part of this unique video, by the way, is rarely shown on conspiracy websites. Some eight seconds after the penthouse caves in, the hollow shell of the building apparently crumples from the bottom as a single piece, making it look as if the entire building collapsed at near freefall speed. Failure is the inevitable consequence for a steel structure exposed to an uncontrolled fire. In 2007, a tanker truck crashed and ignited under a steel construction overpass. Built to support fully loaded 18-wheelers, when exposed to fire, the overpass collapsed under its own weight in minutes, before the flames could be extinguished. Last I checked, no one has claimed that that collapse was an intentional demolition. So why is Seven World Trade Center the only tall steel building in history to collapse due to fire alone? Because it's the only one in history to burn uncontrolled for seven hours. It's really that simple.